Hi, I'm Dean, and I'm going to show you how to fix a noisy computer. Most of the time, if your computer starts squealing or growling, it's caused by one of the cooling fans. There can be as many as six cooling fans in a computer similar to this. You can start by leaving with your computer plugged in. This one's not at the moment. But with your computer plugged in, a fan similar to this up here is the power supply fan, and those tend to get a lot of heat, so those are usually one of the first ones to fail. With it plugged in, you can tap it and see if the noise changes. If it changes, there's a good possibility that this is the one right here that's causing the problem. And the easiest way to fix that is to replace the entire power supply. On my website, there's an article describing exactly how to do that. You can also check some of the case fans in an area like this. Tap near that if the if the noise changes, that may be your culprit. It's not always this one that, that may change the noise because it could the vibrating could change some of the other fans in the computer and change its sound. Another thing you can do while it's running, using a small flashlight, any flashlight, take a look at the fan itself, watch it spinning. If it's slowing down and hesitating, stalling, that's a bad fan going out, it needs to be replaced. Now if you don't find the problem to be one of the external facing fans, go ahead and remove the cover of your computer, put the plugged in and running. You can check each of the internal fans by using either the flashlight method, checking each one, see if there's any stalling. If you don't see anything with the flashlight, you can check it with something like pencil eraser and just tap those different fans see if the noise goes away or changes and that will help you identify which fan could be bad. Now most of these fans in these computers are standard off the shelf items from your local uh, PC electronics store. Some of them can be difficult to find. The ones on the motherboard uh, they're small special purpose fans that can be very difficult. If you can't find them one thing I have done in the past is if there's, for example, a, a chipset cooler fan on the motherboard, you can remove the fan if you have a reasonable amount of airflow through the computer. Um, you can add one of these, which is a PCI slot fan that will pass air by leaving the heat sink on the motherboard and providing other airflow. You can usually get away with that. Not always, but you can try. Another thing to consider if you're adding fans or replacing any fans in your computer case, specifically the case and power supply fans, you want to pay attention to the direction of airflow. Generally, you want all the air flowing the same direction. In a case like this, it's front to back, which is very common. You pay attention to the current fans in it. Replacing any of these fans, make sure it faces the same direction. Again. In this case, all the fans face backwards, so the airflow goes front to back. If you create, a lot of people think you just blow air in from the outside. It doesn't work. All you create is you're, you're holding all the ambient and hot air inside. You want to evacuate that hot air, fixing stuff out.